जन्नत आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई आपके वेरी गुड सिलेक्शन इन पीएचडी केमिस्ट्री प्रोग्राम एट पर्ड्यू ग्रेजुएट स्कूल यस सर थैंक यू आर यू एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट यस सर डेफिनेटली आई एम एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट तो जरा बताइए अपने बारे में आपका फैमिली बैकग्राउंड एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड सर मेरी मम्मा खुद एक पीएचडी ग्रेजुएट है किस सब्जेक्ट yes. में उन्होंने हिंदी से पीएचडी किया हुआ है ओके यस माय फादर इज अ रिटायर्ड पर्सन ही वाज वर्किंग इन एग्रीकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट आई हैव एन एल्डर ब्रदर ही इज करेंटली सर्विंग इन आर्मी वेरी नाइस आई एम द यंगर वन इन द हाउस यस सो हाउ यू डिसाइडेड दैट यू वांट टू डू पीएचडी फ्रॉम द यूएस uh so actually i am in science background so in the back of my mind it was already there that if i have to pursue phd i will always opt by doing research in the us okay. i was preparing for the government job here in india for the past 2 mm-hmm. years but couldn't get selected unfortunately oh, so a- instead of spending more time in the uh, job search venue so mm-hmm. i decided to opt for the phd tell me about your educational background aap kahan se hain kahan se aapne I think high school plus two किया B.Sc है M.Sc क्या grades रहे आपके? Uh, sir, I passed out from the D.A.V. school. Uh, in the tenth standard, we have C.G.P.A. system. कहाँ पे हैं? आपका hometown? Uh, I am from Rohtak basically. Okay. It's close to Delhi, okay. uh, around seventy kilometers. Okay. Yes. So I did my schooling from D.A.V. school. I was always among the top five students in my class. Okay. Uh, in the tenth standard, I got ten out of ten CGPA. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the twelfth class, I have non-medical background, mm-hmm. so uh, I got around ninety-three point eight percent in my twelfth standards mm-hmm. in uh, CBSE board. Okay. After that, I started pursuing BSc in physical science from my community college. Okay. In that, uh, I was also in the top five student in the college. You know, what was the name of your college? college? uh it was dcw it stand for basically government college for women okay all right yes continue uh aapne kab khatam kiya uh i passed yes. out in 2018 so, kya percentage thi aapki it was around 81.52% yes and uh, kya rank thi roughly class mein uh sir actually there was no ranking system in my college uh, mm-hmm. i passed with the first dis- uh, like first distinction there is something like that लेकिन होता है ना कि मतलब जर्नलिस्ट आई नो देयर इज नो रैंकिंग सिस्टम बट स्टिल यू नो आई मीन किस रेंज में लाइक या आई वाज ऑलवेज अमंग लाइक टॉप 10 टॉप 15 स्टूडेंट्स इन माय कॉलेज देयर वाज रफली 700 स्टूडेंट्स इन माय क्लास इट वाज रियली बिग ग्रुप एक्चुअली यस ऑल राइट एंड आफ्टर दैट आई आई टुक एडमिशन इन मास्टर्स एंड माय मेजर वाज केमिस्ट्री सो इन आई पास्ड आउट इन Uh, September 2020, due to okay. Corona, our exams got postponed. What was your specialization? Uh, my specialization in the second year was physical chemistry. Physical chemistry. So why you picked yes, physical sir. chemistry? So I am more interested. Uh, at that time, I was more interested towards the math side of the chemistry. Okay. okay. It's yeah. easier to grasp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in the first year, yeah. in the first year we had all three subjects like organic and inorganic and physical in mm-hmm. the second year we have to choose among three uh, those three so mm-hmm. i opted for the physical chemistry kya naam tha aapke college ka so it was jart college okay. it came uh, both my graduate and masters college came under mdu university oh, very nice kya aap ki cgpa yes. masters mein uh, my aggregate was 8 cgpa out of 10 yes Did you have any research or experience or internship so in your masters? In my curriculum of the campus, there was no research. No like research. there was only exams and practical subject. But when I came in contact with you, you told me to have some research. So I contacted yes. my college professor for the internship. Yes. I did two intern internship. Ah, uh, like in the past year, twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. आपने बीस से बाईस तक क्या किया? मतलब so I was preparing for the government job at that time. What kind of exams were you preparing? How were you preparing? Ah, uh, sir, so I took online coaching from different online platforms available in India these days. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, I took one attempt of the UPSC and two attempt of the Haryana Civil Services. Okay, okay. So you were yes, sir. Uh, into that. I, I think... was really busy that time. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> maybe Anubhav inspired you. He was yeah. in government job. And he yes, left actually, and went to US for yeah. PhD. So when I was preparing, he initially told me like, like, let's go to the US together. At that time, I was not comfortable. I was like, let's give it another shot at this. So now, I prepared for one more or another. Anubhav? Sir, we are uh, we have a mutual friends in common. We both are from the same background. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So there yeah. was the connection. Yes. आपने हमारे साथ कब मतलब connect किया? I I exactly remember <laughs> like uh, when I was giving my second attempt of the CS exam. As soon as my result came out, I was like, no, I don't have to spend any more times in this. Mm -hmm. So after that, I contacted you in the first week of August. I remember. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Then because yes. you were lacking in some some way, so we suggest to you some kind of a research uh, yes, experience. Yes, sir. Jara, uh, batayi. You told. Aapne kahan se kiya? I mean, it's up to you though. But uh, kya aapne research kiya uh, in few months? Sir, so uh, one of my prep, uh, professor is also a PhD guide in my college. So okay. I contacted him like uh, I have to get some kind of internship. Mm -hmm. So he suggested me to come to the college on a regular basis. Okay. So like he was doing some research on the paint side of the uh, chemistry, like okay. lead, uh, lead content in the paints and all these things, biological okay. comp uh, components. Yes. So I collaborated with him, uh, but it was not sponsored by the college. So I have to cover up the cost of all that things. Okay. So it was a paid internship and I did two, like one was from Feb to June and the next mm -hmm. one was from August to October. October. So that, that uh, helped, I think, building. Yes. It's important part. Yeah. Yes, sir, because uh, curriculum does not have any kind of yeah. uh, uh, these internship in the undergrad and master's schools. Yeah. yeah, there are a number of schools or colleges in India. They do not have this kind of instruction, yes, sir, like, which is unfortunate. Mainly in, yes, like mainly tier one colleges in India have these types of curriculum, like DU mm -hmm. University and all those IITs. Yes. Uh, yes. But usually the state university do not cover these things in their curriculum. Yes, yes. It's basically is, like theory exams and practical. Which is unfortunate. The time has come. They should include this kind of uh, internship. Now they have implemented the new education policy. In that they have covered all these aspects. But yeah. the time that we did our graduation and yes. masters, these things were not there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, I would say uh, PhD program in the US, uh, they do not require any prior research experience. But having research experience is important, I would say. Get, I mean, yes, sir. it's actually help questions. in looking your profile at from a yes. different perspective, like you come from something right. originally. Yes, yes. Aapne US uh, PhD program ke application ke liye, which exams uh, you took? Uh, kaise preparation sir, your, kya aap uh, you ne? told me that I should give IELTS in GRE. Okay. Uh, like I was coming from the math side of the chemistry, yes. so you suggested like if you have physical chemistry, you should go for the GRE yeah, exam. That helps. So. Uh, yes, <laughs> unfortunately, I did not score well in that exam. So I didn't mention that in my profile. Yes. And <laughs> unfortunately, also, I took that exam twice. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some, yeah. <laughs> so initially, I took the IELTS exam uh, around uh, in the end of September. Okay. Uh, yes. So you told me that I should score around seven band in IELTS. Mm -hmm. uh, I got like seven overall and individually my score was also good because mm -hmm. most of the university list which you gave me had a requirement that I should have specifically seven band in the speaking section speaking also. Section. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, like University of Vermont, they specified specifically that if you do not have speaking band seven, mm -hmm. you cannot apply in your university. Yeah, probably they don't award. Yes. yes. I'll see. Uh, sir, actually, back in 2018, I also wanted to go to Canada for my master's. So mm -hmm. I have given that exam four years back. So mm -hmm. I was, uh, actually, I did not study, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. so you I have not prepared. Experience. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just give two to three mock tests. Um, so you can call it that. I was. So what do you suggest? So like it's very basic exam. It's a language test. It's not mm -hmm. difficult. Uh, there are basically four sections that you have to cover. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking, they will ask you like very general questions in the three part. Mm -hmm. Introduction in part and then there is a cue card and the final stage. So mm -hmm. you just have to stay in the sink like what they are asking and what you are responding. Yes, yes, yes. So it's very easy like they don't go far beyond like they don't ask very extraordinary questions like daily use simple answers. Okay. So that was very easy for me. 
Uh, mm-hmm. The next part was writing. So as mm-hmm. I was already in the process of preparing all the, these exams, so I have very much content in my mind at that time. Yes, so yes. it was also not difficult for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the next one is reading. So like I would say I was already in the process of preparing for the government exams. That helped me a lot. But yes, if yes. there is a new student, so it is not also difficult for them as you provide all the study material. I still mm-hmm. have that in my Google yeah. Drive. Yes. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So it's easy. And there is so much uh, coaching available these days online. True, very true. And it's not easy yes. examination. A month maximum or two months. Sometimes it depends on background. Yeah, I, yes, like it's a language test, as I told mm. you earlier. Like it's not an exam. We cannot yeah. say that it's, a, it's an exam. It's a basically language test. True. As we are moving from a non-speaking English nation to an English-speaking nation. Yes. So they asked for those students. Yes, very true. But you have yes. also prepared Actually, I didn't. I didn't. I was overconfident. Like honestly. Yes. Uh, like, if I'm honest, uh, pursuing PhD was my backup option. Mm-hmm. Like it was not uh, my main option. So okay. I was preparing for the government job till mm-hmm. I got the acceptance letter. Yes. Uh, yes. After yes. I saw the acceptance from a good university, then I thought like instead of pursuing. Uh, my passion here of the government job, I should move to U.S. Okay. Yes. Course, they, but still want to know. <laughs> uh, GRE, like like the first attempt, I couldn't uh, give my first attempt of the GRE. There was some Why you could not document. give first attempt? You were, you were uh, so, at the test center and calling me, sir, yeah. <laughs> what to do? Yes, like that was a major hit for me. Like I went for the exam. Uh, like my exam was on 4th of November, I remember. Mm-hmm. And they send an email three days prior to that. And I forwarded you, forwarded you the email. In mm-hmm. that, they specified, like, you should have all your documents with you. And I have a concern, like, when I was booking for the exam, they asked for the last name and the first name. Mm-hmm. I still remember, like, I put my last name in the last name section. And I was not aware, like, they uh, want the name that is already on my documents, official mm-hmm. documents. So, uh, yeah, so the name that I put on the uh, form was not matching on, uh, with my official passport ID. So when mm-hmm. I reached to the exam center, they denied my access to the examination. Okay. So like so that what, was a total waste. What was the issue uh, that like it was not matching? Uh, so like, so uh, you do not uh, have yes. a last name? No, I do not have a last name on my passport, but this issue didn't came in the IELTS examination. Like they also ask for the first name and last name. I fulfill there and they do not uh, disregard like if your last name is not on the passport. Yes, wale exam mein. First and last Sir, name. I, I put my uh, full name like Janat Mandena. My last name is Mandena. And also okay. there is a confusion. Like in the US, your surname is considered as your first name and mm-hmm. your first name is considered as your last name. In mm-hmm. India, it's opposite. Mm-hmm. Your first name is your name and your last name is your surname. So mm-hmm. I got confused in that if I had put my Janat in the last name section, they mm-hmm. wouldn't they wouldn't have been any issue. Okay. Yes. Fir, anyways, your score kya rahe? Uh sir, in the uh, second attempt, I took the exam around 13th of the November. I had uh, in English like 148, and in maths I had around 142. Like it was close to 300, but not above that. Yes, yes. I think you should have done better in want. Uh, yes, sir. For that. But anyways, we did not use your GRE marks yes, sir. We, for yes. application process. Many of the uh, program, they waived the GRE, but it helps. Like, physical chemistry, you have to do quantum, you have to do 150 plus, rahe, that helps in, in various yes, sir. part of uh, the process, I would say. Admission committee, look into it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. So, like after, Number of, matlab, you go ahead. Uh, so after that, you told me like the uh, deadline for the various universities started. Uh, some have their deadlines in just January, February, March. Mm-hmm. So we applied to, to, together to the 10 universities from your list. You provide mm-hmm. a specific list and you told me specifically like stick to this list. Uh, I was a little bit overconfident in the process. So <laughs> I went ahead and applied to four Aap different mushe, universities. I remember Jagada kar rahi thi, no, sir. I'm not going to go yes, with this yes. and then uh, this is the list. Yeah, there was a clash at that time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, at that time, everybody wants to apply in and many uh, different colleges as possible because everybody, you know, like there is a set deadline and if you are not uh, put your application by that 
then they mm-hmm. you do not have any option so mm-hmm. i was like like even if it get out of the way and i don't get accepted at least i would have like i applied there so mm-hmm. i wanted that yeah, i i understand so, we do encourage is some lena yes, chahiye student uh, they have their interest too but we i think we being mentor we know i mean various yes, you things you know it better like uh, i would say right now if anybody wants to uh, contact you like you they should strictly strict to your uh, list that you provide true so finally aapka selection hua uh, purdue uh, graduate school yes sir purdue university bataiye yes, iske bare mein uh sir so we put application in this on the i still remember we submitted our application in this school like till lady very last moment uh, i still you remember you do not have a, a laptop uh, remember that uh, at I that mean, time i had huh? yes at that time, at that time yes yeah. like whenever i have to you argue with me anubha also didn't have laptop why should i have yes sir <laughs> so i still remember like the uh, last date for this university was 15th of jan and mm-hmm. in the morning of 16th of jan you send me the like uh, complete these uh, things in your form so mm-hmm. i woke up like around 5 in the morning i still remember like i was looking at my phone all night like if mm-hmm. uh, uh, and you told me you assured me like you will get it submitted by then <laughs> but i yes. was like a little i had anxiety at that time like will it get submitted or not because it was yeah. a really good university and who paid this application fee uh, uh, you submitted actually i didn't have a credit card also <laughs> so i used to send the fees to you in advance like three four days prior to that uh, yes. and you were like now it's my turn so just be relaxed but i still had anxiety like will it get submitted or not mm. in that way Hmm. yeah so hmm. you were like you gave your headache to my me now it's my work <laughs> yes, yes i feel like because it, student they should submit the opportunity should go to student not to us uh, yes sir like right? uh, initially first four universities i paid my fees to you uh, mm-hmm. then my then i got my credit card and after that for the rest of the university i paid it myself yeah yeah to so, bataiye aapka jo selection hai kya scholarship hai and detail mein thoda sa okay so i got my offer letter on 19th of april they okay. took around more than 3 months to reply mm-hmm. i still have not received uh, my confirmation from four universities the result is yes. still pending and it's yes. me so uh, and also they have a very limited timeline uh, they told me to get uh, back to them by the end of like april 28th yep. april okay so there was like a no brainer i had to accept it like i didn't had any other offers at that time mm, so yes. uh, i contacted you and you also told me like it's a very top program so when i did uh, googled it so it was like in the top 30 programs in the us yes. so i had like uh, yes purdue university its chemistry department comes in the top 30 in the us this is very i mean prestigious university yeah it's a very prestigious university yes. so after that i accepted their offer and in their offer letter they mentioned three things like they were offering me health insurance it is around like 3700 us dollars mm-hmm. and a partial tuition waive off like they didn't completely waive off my tuition they mm-hmm. had some compulsory fees that i had to cover up that's after very, going up there very minimal. yeah that's very nominal but like they mentioned $100, it clearly uh, yes uh, it's 600 dollar per semester per semester which is like Eighty dollar they will deduct from your salary. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so it's around like twenty six thousand something in the uh, TA that they mm-hmm. are offering me, and twenty two thousand dollars something in the uh, tuition waiver, and four thousand. So you said twenty six thousand stipend. It's yearly or nine month. So it's yearly. Yearly. They mention it per annum. So it's twenty three hundred dollar or close to that. Uh, So it's twenty one hundred eighty seven dollar per month so to be specific. Yes, sir. The amount I would say is very small town. Uh, well, so it's not small small town. It's in the capital of the Indiana. It's in it's in their okay. campus is in Indianapolis. Okay. <laughs> yes, like it's not, and I think it's a good thing. Like it's not a small town. So like so you you're like spending five years of your life. Yes, like not small. Uh, no, no. All right. So, so but so it's a very affordable offer. How did you react? 
so like initially when i received the email uh, the email started something like that that the pending satisfactory result of your application mm. so i was relaxed like at least they had not rejected me it's like pending mm. i didn't go through the entire email mm. so when uh, in the third or fourth line of the email like we are recommending you to the purdue school of the graduate at that time i was like okay they have suggested and they wanted some more documents so initially <laughs> uh, honestly i read my mail like thrice or four times because i was like like they are really offering me the admission or they are still asking for the remaining documents <laughs> yeah, <laughs> immediately i forwarded you the uh, mail on the whatsapp Mm -hmm. and you told me like call me right now it was yes. i still remember it was like around 11 pm in the night mm -hmm. uh, and you live in south korea it's like yeah, 2 yeah, to 3 yeah. am in the morning yes. true, so true. yes we discussed it like it's a final acceptance offer you should accept it it's a very good school mm -hmm. so we went yes. ahead with it aapne kab bataya apne parents or family ko actually yeah. I, at that time i was with my mom i shake her up like wake up wake up i just got my acceptance from the university oh bingo <laughs> yes bahut bahut badhai is i think great moment life ka rata hai ek milestone type se so i think this yes, what, it is i mean in a way so uh, let's talk about uh, the our mentorship jaise aap judte ho aur selection yes, like क्या Mm -hmm. so after i gave my exam i contacted you and you provide me a list in the december of around 12 universities okay so one by one as the deadline was coming we started filling out those forms mm -hmm. uh, so you provided with the list and you also gave me the study material for these two exams yes. gre and the and the ielts yes. yes so and you also assisted me during the application process and provided with the sop uh, letters mm -hmm. of recommendation mm -hmm. uh then i contacted my teachers for those letters to get uploaded in the different university sites and after that uh, whenever i had any confusion regarding anything in the university process you also told me like click on this icon click on that thing uh, yeah you keep keep bugging me all the time i would say <laughs> yes like uh, for me it was a first time process, process like for the initial one or two universities i was confused like at every step like what to do now what to do now so i keep on bugging you like please tell me and assist me assist me in these things uh, for the last four universities you totally uh, gave me the sops and everything and i filled out all those forms myself yes sir and also we had to get our transcripts from the university to upload on uh, because here like in haryana we get dmcs we do not get transcript from the yes, universities yes, yes yes and in the application process they wants us to uh, upload the unofficial transcript Mm -hmm. so we have to get them from the university department mm -hmm. so i mm -hmm. asked from you like was it difficult to get transcripts from mdu no no like uh, my department is, it's very cooperative so kaise tha aap man lo koi student ko aap suggest karo ki mdu se mujhe transcript yes. nikalni hai kya process hai uh, there is an official timeline of 15 days uh, yes. you have to inform them uh, prior to 15 days they will get okay. you your documents after 15 days do you have And to go to the department or the university university itself we have the university campus in the city Achha. where i am living so it was not difficult for me to go there like it's hardly 10 minute distance from my home very nice uh, yes so <laughs> there was the question is how about lor how difficult was lor to get so that was also not difficult mm -hmm. uh, my uh, college was also very cooperative uh they gave me uh, all the professors gave me their personal number so whenever i have to get the lors uploaded i'll just ping them like sir this you will receive the uh, letter from the university email just upload your letters so everybody like everybody was happy uh, that i'm applying for the phd in the us so everybody yes, was yes. like just tell us like what we can do for you they were so very supportive i would say like yes sir totally like my hod of the department chemistry department he is like mm -hmm. a father figure honestly mm -hmm. like he was the happiest person when i told him i am going to us to so, jab aap gayi baad mein abhi gayi ki nahi uh, mithai yes, wale yes sir i yes sir i 
so everybody was like very happy as soon as i got my offer letter i told my chodis i remember like i woke up everybody in the middle of the night at that day <laughs> like my parents were like if you are excited other must be sleeping let them rest but i was like no no i have to tell them at the right at the moment because mm-hmm. he was con- constantly asking me nice. i remember you started asking me in the first of the march like any updates jana any updates and i was like because i was getting anxious you were, you every were day muted. I mean, there's no interaction yes. uh, i want to know i mean what's going on it's okay so have, I, you can have rejections it's not a big deal that's the process actually like i had anxiety at that time because initially i received uh, all the rejections only like there was not a single offer <laughs> i would still say like how many rejections did you have before you got purdy so eight i guess eight or nine rejections so it was like at that day i'm telling yes. you when i opened my mail and the first word was pending so i was like relaxed at least they had not rejected me <laughs> they must be asking for some documents I yes, still yes. I'm telling you I read my mail thrice to confirm it like okay I yes. finally got accepted. <laughs> yes yes. One should do it. Make sure that yes, because heart be matlab pumping fast ho jata hai. So like from uh, I got my first rejection on 5th of January. At that time it was not uh, anything like because there was deadline for 10 universities I was like mm-hmm. okay I got rejected from one so what uh, what else I would apply to the rest of the universities. Chicago Oh, <laughs> I went for the top. <laughs> And you were you were fighting. Remember, you you want to play Chicago. <laughs> yes. So, like it's like that. I wanted to get in the best of the best program. So eventually, mm-hmm. it ended up in my favor. Mm-hmm. Like I was all. Yeah. You also told me like nobody got accepted in the Purdue before that. Yeah, yeah. Purdue is very prestigious. Yes. Yes. yes it, so it's like this we favor the bold. <laughs> like it. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> Yes, I went out of the mail. I know, I knew it in the moment. Like I am applying to the universities, and these are very high risk because mm-hmm. the acceptance rate was extremely low. Yeah, uh, yeah. University of Chicago had an acceptance rate of like four or five percent. They are yes. more prestigious than the Ivy League schools in the U.S. Yes, true. So I was like, I would do anything to get into a good school. <laughs> and I, yeah, it matters everything, everything. Yes, sir. Along with a good application packet. Uh, so uh, i am confident like if i had contacted you during my masters i would have gotten into an ivy league yes. earlier the I, better I, was, i would say yes I mean, as like, soon as you get in touch we we groom i mean yes. very nice slowly i would recommend yes i would recommend any other student like mm-hmm. if they are thinking of going to the uh, us for their graduate school they should contact you in the earlier days of the exam yes uh, because yes uh, Uh, as i told you earlier like our curriculum didn't have anything yes. like internships or mm-hmm. research programs and you send links to the student like you should do research in the iits and all those things yes. these things are different kind of feathers to your profile yes, it yes. gets picked and up easily yes has what wonder i would say yes like you get simply brownie point for all these things yeah mm-hmm. you did internship in these nice. things you had certificates of all those things so mm-hmm. i would say the student should definitely uh, in india like the mentality is we would mm-hmm. approach someone when it's like in the deadline like there is no far but yeah point which is no that. good i would say yes yes like at the last very moment aapki i think jo dost hai friend priya yes sir she is also uh, yes yesterday she has joined our mentorship yes uh, yeah your, she asked me about yes with your recommendation i would say uh like anubhav recommended me to you i recommended priya to you like it's a chain yeah it's, it's a chain good chain acha le ye bataiye ek aur important question aata hai puchta hu mujhe yes what sir. about expenses jodne se leke selection tak so it's like roughly around uh, more than 2 and a half lakhs till now kaha kaha kharch hua paisa aapka zara batayenge sir like i paid you the one installment of the mentorship it yes. was around 60000 mm-hmm. and that time. Uh, then yes sir mm-hmm. i still have to give you the like second installment it's not complete <laughs> like yes, yes. if somebody get confused like it's only 60000 no it's not mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. and i would say like in the end it doesn't matter like what's your fees because you yes. are helping us to get into a very good program and the program that we are getting into it's very nominal according to that sochi aapki scholarship total dekha jaye to 2 ya 3 crore yes sir, like uh, if in total it's around like it's more than 2 and a half crore yes, for the entire yes. phd yes 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 sir so like the expenses 
as compared to the thing that we are getting in the end, it's like roughly a four or five month stipend in yes. total. That's true. So it's not really a big amount for anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, after that, I applied to different universities and colleges. Like mm -hmm. we paid application fees for twelve different universities, mm -hmm. and I remember like most of my universities like were very high. Uh, I still remember like four or five universities had their application fees of hundred dollar per university. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's around like fifty, sixty, sixty five dollar. Mm -hmm. Yes, like uh, you suggested me all the universities like. Uh, the time that we had clash, you told me like all these universities are in the urban area. They are in the good cities and the capital. So yeah. like uh, the university, uh, this IUPI also has like fees of $90 or $100 mm -hmm. something. I don't yes. remember it exactly. So that cost really adds up. Like it ended up around 90,000 for the application fees only. Okay. okay. Nice. Yes. It's and apart from I would say. having this kind of offer is like a yes, lifetime sir. opportunity. I, I just told you, like, in front of this offer, it's nothing. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. hardly a four-month stipend in total. Yeah, if you add up all the expenses, like, it's nothing in front of that. Yes. So, yes, sir. Yes. I-20 uh, No, sir. Like, they'll really take a long time. And the mm -hmm. email they mentioned, like, after my uh, documents that they have asked for me, they will send it four to six weeks after that. Oh, four to six, I think, I think by next week you will you will receive I-20. Sir, the earlier the better. I would say that. Also, no problem. Once you have I-20, there are simple steps in uh, visa yes, processing. Ke. So we will guide you through two steps. Hai. Okay? okay, sir. There will not be any problem. And we will have mock sessions also. Uh, visa. Ke. Yes, sir. You will be very comfortable okay. passing this simple test, I would say. Yes, sir. So apart from our application fees and your fees, uh, we have to pay for like different exams. So for IELTS, I paid around like 19,000 at that time. Mm -hmm. And for GRE, I have to pay twice because I couldn't get uh, access to my exam in the first time. So they, they denied my fees also. Yes. Uh, so for GRE, I have to pay 40,000 alone for the exam. Mm -hmm. And also I have to cover up the cost of my internship. It was also paid. It was around 40,000 that. Yes, and yes. the transcripts are also like everything in the process is paid like nothing is free and you are getting it at a different cost so yes, yes. Uh, transcript alone like they i was say like 20000 they costed me around 20000 for the transcript mm -hmm. because initially i had to get the soft copy and later on when i got the acceptance i had to send them the hard copy as well mm -hmm. yes that that's the yes, cost sir. you have being female, I mean, uh, especially up yes. just region, say, I think, hey, yeah, message yes, like hai, hai, aap, yeah, students go to both Matlab, uh, Kuch Karna Chate, obstacles, right? So, I would say, like, if you really wanted to do something, there are no such thing as like obstacle. Like, if you really set your mind to it, you can achieve it. Yes. Obstacle or like. I would say like, in my opinion, it's basically excuses that we give to ourselves. Like we couldn't okay. do this because we had this problem. Like okay. if you really wanted to do something, your parents will also support. These days, it's not anything like you are a girl, you cannot do this and you are a boy, we will provide you with this different facilities. Mm -hmm. Everybody these days is like, if you want to go and do something, we will support you. Very so nice. yes, like I haven't uh, personally, my parents never uh, let me feel that way. Aapki mata ji to PhD herself hai. So great yes, and chal hai aapki, hai, matlab, uh, life everybody like everybody in my family was like your brother is uh, already out of the, your home for the past mm -hmm. 11 or 12 years. You are also moving. You are moving from out of the country. Like who will look after your parents and everything. So my parents were like very supportive. Mm -hmm. So they were like if she wanted to do something good in her life, let her do that. Mm -hmm. True. So Jannat, I would, I mean, we have a lot of conversation over almost yes, eight sal. You, you're not the same Jannat. Uh, you are different Jannat now. Okay. <laughs> so make sure. Uh, so everybody choices, wants the time. Uh, good yes, choices sir. for yourself. I think soon you are, you are planning for your marriage also. All right. Yes, yeah. sir. Like my family is planning for the next year. Yes. Yes. So make sure you're not the same. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I mean, I'm giving you a hint. I mean, you're a smart girl. Yes. Okay. 
So like, but deep down, I feel like we should always stick to our roots. Like no matter where we go yes, in the yes. US and here, True. like yes. बहुत बहुत बधाई है कुछ फाइनल वर्ड्स कहना चाहेंगी मेंटरशिप के बारे में yes like absolutely i would say like without a doubt doubt everybody should contact you because there is a abundant lack of guidance in here like mm-hmm. our colleges they do not organize any type of seminar for student who want to go abroad and pursue higher education mm-hmm. i still remember like you told one of a student from the university from which anubhav passed out like deep trust yes uh, like you did all the hard work i am telling you myself like you did all the hard work in my process and my university will take the entire credit like yeah. our student is going which hurts so, mujhe bhi hurt yes, like, <laughs> yes it would definitely hurt anybody credits, but they didn't do anything yes like exactly uh, they just uploaded my recommendation latest nothing mm-hmm. apart from that yeah, they didn't know i was applying for aap is baar jab jayenge apne hrd ko zarur bataiyega you taking the credit uh, I, but <laughs> i already told uh, but sir, he is a very honest person uh, he was like openly he was like like you did entire thing we just supported you when you asked for the help in the process support bhi bahut zaruri hai yes sir seen two uh, things i have seen your interviews from the du student like their teachers are yes. not helping in the letter of recommendations yeah, at all biggest example was kajal in chemistry uh, he almost yes, gave ha uh, matlab maine uske se push nahi karta uh, usko give him ये सर लाइक आर टीच लाइक इट्स लाइक दे आर लैगिंग इन वन थिंग बट दे आर गुड इन द अदर एक्सपेक्ट लाइक दे डू नॉट हैव ऑल दीज थिंग्स लाइक एडवांस्ड करिकुलम और लाइक एडवांस्ड रैंकिंग एंड ऑल बट लाइक दे आर वेरी सपोर्टिव लाइक इफ यू गो टू देम एंड आस्क फॉर देयर हेल्प इन एनीथिंग दे आर ऑलवेज रेडी टू हेल्प यू या मे बी आप एक एक सेमिनार या फिर अरेंज करा सकती हैं आई कैन गिव I mean online webinar kind of I can stuff. definitely ask for uh, yes I can definitely ask for it to my HOD sir That will help I think uh, number of students <laughs> You're talking about I think early joining of the mentorship uh, program Please go ahead uh, Yes sir so as you were saying I would contact to my HOD sir regarding your uh, meet up in my college yes. yes I think they would definitely support it Very nice yeah. This yes, this is going to help I think uh, so get yeah, a little a lot of students Yes तो कहते हैं जन्नत दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट कि अवेयरनेस होना बहुत जरूरी है बहुत जरूरी है आप स्मार्ट स्टूडेंट बने रहे यदि चीजों के लिए आप अवेयर नहीं है तो यू आर लैकिंग नंबर थिंग्स Yes, sir. Like I, as I told you earlier, like the sooner students get joined to you, it's easier. It's get way easier for them. Like True. I recently saw your univers uh, videos. Most of students are getting into University of Houston in the US, yes. and it's a very top school for the chemistry program. It yes. comes in the top hundred school all over the world for the specifically yes. like for the chemistry department. Chemistry, बिल्कुल सही कह रही हैं. And it's a very difficult school to get into, like directly. So, mm-hmm. I would say if somebody really want to pursue for. Uh, PhD in the broad they should definitely contact you aise aapne Houston naam liya ek student Amrit ka aapne video dekha ho yeah i just saw her yes and she joined she and her brother like both are going to you yes i saw your interview undergraduate was ka hua full scholarship and so uh, like in my opinion she got into university of houston and because you suggested her to do the internship from the iit and she did, she did that yes, yes, i sir. also put my application in the university of houston and i straight away got rejected like within very a true. week yes very true. their deadline was like 30th march and i got my rejection within a week after that within a week yes yes yes, yes sir bilkul aapne sahi kaha ki jaldi judiye yes important part hai ek aur abhi example aap जल्दी ही वीडियो देखेंगे येल यूनिवर्सिटी में वो भी स्टूडेंट येल या इट्स इट्स एन आईवी लीग स्कूल इन द यूएस वो फिजिक्स में है वो यू विल सी वीडियो सुन तो वो भी बहुत जल्दी जुड़ी और फिर ग्रूम कर पाए उसको उसी हिसाब से वी आल्सो रिक्वायर टाइम यस यू वुड डेफिनेटली नो लाइक व्हाट यूनिवर्सिटीज आर लुकिंग इन द स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन आई कांटेक्टेड यू यू टोल्ड मी यू हैव सेट ऑन सेवरेट पैनल्स in the admission committee in the us so you yes. definitely know like what they are looking in the students profile very true completely agree with that bahut bahut badhaiyan jannat so happy for you to you too sir like it's it all happened just because and of you i would I like your that. fighting spirit okay so <laughs> keep that up it's important i would say yes like i still remember uh, one time we had a clash over the phone and you told me like you were too ambitious but, i still remember but i think that that uh, not that, that and humbled yes. you i think you started yes. 
listening to us very nicely yeah, i had some doubt like in my mind so i when i confronted you you told me like these things are not possible so mm-hmm. after that i got understood like i have these things uh, these things are lacking in my profile when i was applying to these universities and also there are people who might misguide you It's yes people definitely mis misinfluence yes. you like nobody wants you to get ahead of them in the process yes, yes, that's yes. true are jannat aise aise matlab scenes hai student nikal gaya dusro ko batate nahi hai they don't want uh, to get the same success and so i not. actually don't understand this thought like yes. if anybody is do, i like you see the example my friend anubhav he is a mutual friend yes. he told me about you i mm. got connected with you i ended up in a good university yes, yes. as i ended up in a good university i told my friend priya that she should yes. also go and do something yes. nice in the us yes, so yes. i really don't uh, understand this thought at all completely agree but there are people which i never understand why they would do like that say so, i would say like those type of people don't end up like very far in their life mm, true so if you are dragging other people it's like karma it will hit uh, you back kahawat na what goes around and comes around and and comes around way. like it's yeah it's yes. circle of life it's basically yes thank you so much jannat for your time and soon so i would like i have your really appreciate uh, then we will start visa process. okay sir okay sir we connect thank with you, you. Soon. take it Okay sir you too bye bye